Greetings, peoples of YouTube. Welcome to Moxie 1701's gaming channel. And yes, as you can see, I have a Nintendo Switch. And obviously, I have Zelda for it. That's a nice carrying case I got to as well. Look at the texture on it. Looks like the old the script that you see in the game a lot. It's pretty, pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. <laughs> and on the back over here, aside from some, some fuzz, you have the big Z which is very, very nice, and more of that printing, which is very cool. Very, very nice. And this is the system itself. You can see me in your screen. Hello. <laughs> Let me just switch this on. <clears throat> there we go. And that's what, that's what the screen looks like. Nice and sharp. I've been told that this is 720p but looks sharp enough to be mistaken for a 4K screen. It's pretty amazing. You have little heat vents on top, and yes, there is a fan in there. You have the cartridge slot over here. Just get focus on it, there we go. And headphone jack right next to it. You have the little Joy-Cons over here and over here. They detach, as you know. And volume control, power, and R and R2 button, sorry, L and L2 button, and here's the R and R2 button. And this direct kind over here actually has a little infrared camera or sensor that you can wave your hand in front of, it'll detect your hand. It's got a USB C, standard USB C, which is a very nice touch because for once Nintendo is not using proprietary connectors. That's serial number. And over here, I don't know if you can see it, there's the docking station. Now, uh, I'm not going to show you any gameplay right now, because I will save that for a later video, video in which I was showing some gameplay. Gameplay? Jeez, coffee's good. <laughs> uh, first, I'll tell you the minuses of the system, the things I don't like. This screen, it scratches if you look at it too hard. You just pop it into the dock, and the screen ends up being scratched. So a screen protector is mandatory. These sticks, hello cat, <laughs> these sticks over here, I don't know why Nintendo put one over here where it should be, I put the other one right in the middle over here. Why Nintendo? Why did you do this? It doesn't make any sense. These sticks should be both up here and the buttons down here. What the heck? <laughs> what can I do? It is the way it is. Uh, battery life. It's supposed to be like two and a half hours to six hours, depending on the gameplay. Which is all right, I guess. Uh, there is no YouTube or Netflix or even a browser that you can access on this system. Uh, it, all it does is play Nintendo games. What the heck's up with that? <laughs> oh, speaking of games, this is what the game package looks like. Some nice little artwork there. Very cool. It looks like a very small SD card and it tastes terrible. So don't taste it. I know you see a lot of videos of the guys licking the cartridges. <laughs> Everybody knows that the cartridges have a special coating that makes them taste bad. So why are you people licking it? Really? <laughs> um, but I must admit though, I have tasted mine and yeah, it is gross. And another minus of the system would be that it has no MP3 player. You can't play music on it. You can't play videos on it. Yet. I'm hoping that Nintendo fixes these problems with a new update. Like adding YouTube, adding Netflix, a browser that we can access. Because there is a browser in here. Because uh, certain programs access it, but your average user can't access it. Which sucks and mp3 capability plug in a micro sd card behind a little leg back here that would be nice to have the internal memory is 28 gig well available 27 28 gig because the operating system picks up a bit of it you can expand it as much as you want by putting a little sd card micro sd card in the back behind a little kickstand the back of it there's a little kickstand there's intakes for a fan there's a switch logo 
And behind this little kickstand is a micro SD card slot. And uh, I have one 128 gig in there right now, so I'm not sure how to save, excuse me, how to transfer games to the micro SD. I'm thinking that once the internal memory gets filled up, it automatically starts saving them to the micro SD. But I haven't reached that point yet. And as you can see over here, I have four games. I got Zelda, Bomberman, Fast, and I am Setsuno. And that's not bad for beginning. There's also a Skylanders game, which is available, and that uh, Switch game, which is basically a gimmick to demonstrate the system's capabilities. So, my opinion all in all is the system's okay. It's got some faults. I mean, the screen scratches so easy, it's ridiculous. They should have made glass, tempered glass, safety glass, you know, because they said it's for safety for kids, but this thing, the screen is so delicate, a kid will break it and scratch it in no time. You just plug it into the dock over there, and it scratches. It's ridiculous. Hello, cat. You should have made it out of a harder acrylic or different material. It would have been a lot smarter. But aside from that, I like the system a lot. It's great. It's fun. The battery life is not a problem. I been using this today and as you can see I have like 94% battery here and looks like the cat wants to play it <laughs> so all in all great system I love it uh, it's definitely worth picking up if you can find it in the store and just wait a few months a couple of months and it will be available hopefully so great system pick it up if you can thanks for watching